Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video I want to show you uh, uh, this desktop computer that you are watching right now. Uh, it's a small form factor, so it's, it's really small. I'm here I'm showing you a regular SSD 2.5 inches that you normally find in laptops normally, but you can have it uh, on a desktop computer, it doesn't, doesn't make a difference. And I'm showing you an old school mechanical 3.5 inches hard drive. As you can see, it's almost the size of the computer. And here we're seeing the model. It's a Dell Optiplex 5050 Micro. You can see the thickness of it. You can see the, the media port, the, the front uh, USB 3.1, 3.1 USB. Um, and you can see how it looks. So I'm going to you can check the site of this case of this desktop computer and next to a uh, three point the, the three point five inches um, hard drive mechanical hard drive so as you can see it's almost its thickness is uh, is like thirty percent thicker so here we are on the back you can see the the more USB 3.1, the RJ45 for network connection. We can see an HDMI or a, or a projector port. You can see the screw. This is the only thing that you need to take out if you want to open this computer. On the top right, I didn't mention, you see that uh, shiny, uh, that gold shiny thing that you can add an antenna that comes included and you have a Wi-Fi connection as well. So here you can see the power port. It's really small to save space. So it's like an, in a laptop. It's really, really uh, all the power supply. Uh, it's on the you know, somewhere in the cable. So it's this is a i5. It has Windows 10, i5, Intel i5, seven generation. So uh, if you watch this channel, you know me, and I have to open this computer. I have to see what's inside. So as mentioned before, it only has one screwdriver. I want a screw and you don't even need a screwdriver. It just with your fingers you can open it. So you just have to push this and the case is out. So you can see the computer uh, how it looks from the inside. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to turn it so you can see it better and I'm going to try to take out this cover so you can see what's below this. So I'm just going to press these two the these two sides and you can see the heatsink and under this is the, um, the processor and you can see we have a space up to two RAM modules uh, right now I'm using only one which is a gigabyte but you can expand it up to I'd say 32 but you have to check but minimum to up to 16 gigabytes of RAM so that's pretty cool now we put it back the way it was and uh, you can see here the uh, the CMOS battery. So here is the configurations, the data, the password for the for the BIOS. And we're going to take out this, uh, I like to call it this belt. And uh, this is the Wi-Fi card, a Wi-Fi controller. And this one over here is the M2 SATA uh, SSD. So this is for faster boot and for faster data retrieval. So let's say you're running low in space. So you can add an extra SSD or an extra 2.5 inches hard drive, whether an SSD or regular or mechanical hard drive. So as you see here, I'm going to connect it and you're going to see how it looks. But that's what I really like about this model, that you can add more space and it doesn't really, uh, it's optimized to host two hard drives, the, the M2 SSD and well, this one, the 2.5 inches um, hard drive. So, or SSD. So about uh, the performance, I have an order that is working uh, for six months, five months now, and it doesn't overheat or anything. So it just works well. I'm not going to show you that because it's just Windows. We have seen Windows 10 many times, and you have seen Windows 10 many times. So it doesn't really make a difference if I show you or not. It's just the, the, the hardware that is interesting. Uh, now, uh, after we have take out the the, uh, the SSD because I don't need it, and besides this hard drive and this 3.5, um, these two, the SSD and the hard drive I show you, they are not working. So it, it was just to for size comparison and to show you that you can attach more hard drive. So 
what do you think about these guys? Uh, did you like this laptop? Uh, this laptop? Did you like this model? And besides, one last thing, um, the surface, the case is very sturdy, it's very resistant. So I would say you can put uh, between a 15 to 21 inches monitor and it's not going to happen anything. So using this form factor really helps you uh, declutter your your desktop environment. So you have more space for, I don't know, more things, <laughs> more pictures, uh, more documents that you might be working on. So as uh, one more, th uh, the last thing, as you have noticed, this model doesn't have a CD DVD reader because, well, it's 2019, who really uses a CD DVD reader? Everything can be turned into an, into an ISO or downloaded from the internet. But of course you can add a USB. Uh, if you really need a CD or DVD reader. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, what do you think of this uh, a small form factor desktop computer? Would you buy it? You wouldn't buy it? Did you like it? You didn't like it? I'm going to leave the link in the description below to Dell so you can check it out if you want to know more information about it. So, um, well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comment, leave it in the section below. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so, clicking in the subscribe button and the bell notification for future videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.